DNA exists within the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. In order to extract DNA, the associated proteins and membranes must be removed. Cells are first homogenized and lysed with a sodium chloride and water solution. Then a detergent is added to bind the membrane lipids and proteins. Meat tenderizer is composed of protein digesting enzymes which release DNA by stripping away proteins. The addition of ethanol causes the free DNA to form a precipitate so it can be easily collected. Using cold ethanol preserves fragile hydrogen bonds in the DNA and prevents damage. In this lab, you will isolate DNA from strawberries. You will be given a sample of a filtrate that was made from fresh strawberries. The filtrate has been generated by homogenizing the strawberries and adding a detergent. The detergent emulsifies and forms complexes with the membrane lipids and proteins from the strawberry cells, causing the DNA to be released into solution. You will mix the filtrate with meat tenderizer. This contains enzymes that digest associated proteins away from DNA. Finally, you will carefully layer cold ethanol on top of the filtrate to precipitate the DNA. You will then gently collect the DNA by spooling it onto a glass rod. To isolate DNA, it first must be released from cells. This process, called homogenization, will result in a solution in which particles are evenly dispersed. During the homogenization process, cells are mixed with sodium chloride solution and detergent. Sodium ions bind to the negative phosphates of DNA, making it easier for DNA to condense. Emulsification breaks down large fat globules into small, evenly distributed ones. Detergent emulsifies cell and nuclear membrane lipids, releasing DNA into solution. Detergent then bonds to the proteins and lipids and keeps them from interacting with DNA. Meat tenderizers are commonly used in preparing tough cuts of meat to make them easier to eat. They do this by digesting tough protein fibers. Most meat tenderizers are enzymes. In DNA isolation, meat tenderizer is used to break down the protein complexes that hold DNA in tight clumps. Digesting these proteins allows the DNA molecules to precipitate more easily. DNA is insoluble in cold ethanol. The desired result is to create a layer of ethanol that sits on the precipitated DNA. Tilting the tube and pouring ethanol down the side helps prevent mixing. When adding ethanol to the extraction mixture, it is very important to avoid mixing the ethanol and water layers. DNA is insoluble in cold ethanol and will precipitate in its presence. When a sharp boundary between water and ethanol is present, DNA will precipitate at the interface. Tilting the tube and slowly pouring ethanol down the side will help to prevent mixing. Remember to immediately return the tube to the ice. Isolated DNA is collected on a rod using a technique called spooling. A glass rod is spun in one direction, collecting DNA much like cotton candy. To prevent the fragile strands of DNA from breaking, it is important to spin the glass rod in one direction only. Temperature is important in this experiment. Before you begin, Place a test tube in an ice bath. Leave it in place for a few minutes until it becomes very cold. Recall that a DNA molecule is composed of two strands of nucleotides that are held together by hydrogen bonds between nitrogenous bases. Hydrogen bonds are weak bonds and cold temperatures help stabilize them. This helps prevent fragmenting of DNA. In order to maintain low temperature, the filtrate is added to the test tube while it is in the ice bath.
Very good. You successfully isolated the DNA. Push the end experiment button to proceed.